Kiwi Prime, and uh, we got a little search and destroy tip for you guys today. Um, I'm a pretty seasoned veteran of search and destroy, so here's a tip for what to do after you plant the bomb. Um, so, anyways, what I see a lot of people do is they plant the bomb, and they have no idea where they're going. Like, they plant it, and then that's the end of it. Like, they just kind of find a spot. Like, for every bomb, I usually have a spot that I go to. Um, you want to switch it up. And, uh, but here's the one I use a lot on dome. And it's really good, especially if you're going against, like, if you're going against two or three people. Because what you could do is you could throw a grenade, and it would kill them. And then their friends wouldn't know where you were. And then for the second guy, you could uh, shoot him and so on. But even if you did just shoot him for the first time, uh, it's, hard, it's hard for them to get all the way back there and kill you. Because all you have to do is stall, which is uh, really valuable if you're the last person. You can clutch it a lot of times just by stalling, by uh, trying to keep alive as long as possible. Because uh, people don't usually want to try to defuse the bomb if there's still somebody left. Um, unless they have, they like know that the... They can't defuse it. And here's another spot I go to. If you know they're in the dome, just come here and you can just jump. This is not very useful in anything except for 1v1s, but you can just jump up and down and, and like see them. And if you plant the bomb on that corner, most of these spots you have to plant it in a certain spot. And if you just jump up and down, you can see where they are and then you can just kind of wall bang them uh, through this little uh, fence thing. And so here, this clip is what most people look like to me. Like this is okay. So they go up to the bomb and they plant it. And they, you know, they don't use the little edge to look through. They just kind of spin in circles, you know, because they got their tenses. There. And then they just kind of run around because they have no idea what they're doing. Don't look like this guy. Don't look like him. Okay, so this is one I use a lot on lockdown. Uh, just showing like that they're like try. You can figure this out for yourself. There's a lot of spots that you can see from pretty far away. Um, you can see the bomb from pretty far away, like there's one on Resistance, I think it was in a SD for Dummies video if you haven't watched theirs, um, that you can plant it up on top of the thing so they have to climb up there, so you can actually be pretty far away. This one I use a lot, um, HawaiiBoy6969 who's helping me right now, um, he's clutched it against I think 5 or 6 people, like 5v6 or 1v, 1v6 or 1v5 clutch from this spot, because um, they keep trying to fuse it and the first time he threw a grenade just like I said before and like nobody checked up here because um, the chances of the person who planted the bomb in a 1v1 like that they'd be that far away isn't a very good chance and then here's another one this is from my perspective if I was trying to defuse the bomb in a 1v1 um, so you know I just kind of run through here um, I only got 35 seconds so I can't really check everywhere I throw it up there in case he went up there even though he wouldn't have been up there in that amount of time anyways. And I look where a lot of people go usually, you know, in the tunnel, and then this corner, and up there. That's where people go like 90% of the time. Then I'm looking for him, and don't see him, so I try to fuse, and I get hit by a throwing knife. And yeah, so that's, I'm Kiwi Prime, and that's your tip of the day. Thanks.